Hi y'all. Today we're having uh, macaroni and cheese and we're having sloppy joes. What I want is just about a teaspoon of olive oil in my pan, my skillet. I'm going to brown my meat with my vegetables. So, turn my pan on. Get my meat in there. This lean beef has very little fat. Perfect. So, I'm going to want to stir that. And what I have is this handy little chopper. So this is nice, fresh ground beef that's going to taste really good. Okay, so now I just need to add my chopped vegetables. That's perfect. Get that. stirred up. All right, so the first thing I have are some little cloves of garlic and I've already peeled them. So as I chop these vegetables, I'm going to go ahead and throw them in my garlic takes a little time to cook. Just gonna mince it up pretty small. And my dogs are guarding the house. It's probably a package. What I do is cut my four sides off. That's good. Now, those other pieces don't look so pretty, so I don't use them. I just want some. Pretty small. Okay, so I have my bell pepper chopped. I'm going to go ahead and add that to my skillet. I'm going to chop up my onion now. Alright. So I'm going to get my onion in my skillet. And that's it for right now. I'm just going to stir it up and let it keep cooking. Turn it up on high. No sense wasting time. Turn it on high and keep it stirred. I'm going to cover this so that my vegetables will soften. Okay, so let's see how our meat is with our vegetables. My vegetables are still not tender, so I just want to Keep cooking it. I've turned it down to it's kind of low. I'm gonna let my vegetables get nice and tender. Okay, 
So I'm going to drain my beef and vegetables. And put it back on the burner. Oh, I just hurt my neck. Chopped up three very small Roma tomatoes. I'm going to give it color and texture. Teaspoon of pepper. Stir that together. Dijon mustard, a cup of ketchup, and a quarter cup of brown sugar. That's going to make it good. Now just stir all this together. Cups. I'm sorry, two pounds of ground beef. With a cup of ketchup, I'm going to add another half a cup of ketchup. All right. I have a cup of So that's the total of cup and half. That's perfect. That's good. Now this just needs to cook for a while and then it's ready to serve. You can speed up this process if you want to. Cook everything up on high. But I don't think it will be as good. 
All right, now that I have everything in the skillet, I'm going to cover my pot. It's actually a cast iron skillet, enamel cast iron skillet. So I'm gonna cover that and let it cook for about 15 minutes, and then we'll try it. Okay, you would not believe. Now I have this covered for about 15 minutes. And it just looks delicious. So I'm gonna serve this to my family, but I want to taste this for you. Hold on. Wanna taste this? Because it looks so good and it's hot. So I hope y'all have a good Christmas. Everything is just going well around here. We had a house full of kids and grandkids. Mm. That is so delicious. I'm gonna turn it off now, let it cool down so I can serve it. Mm. So y'all give it a try. I'll see you next time.